Children ranging in ages from 4 to 17, boys and girls, all victims of sexual abuse dating back as far as 2001. It doesn't matter how long ago this happened. Uh, the, you know, these, were, these were all vulnerable kids who were taken advantage of by people in authority, people who were supposed to be there to help them. Investigators say the three people arrested, Alan Long, Martha Long, and Rona Culler, abused as many as seven children, some of them their own. Over the past 20 years, many reports were made to multiple police departments and social service agencies by the alleged victims, their other parents, and grandparents. We showed the case to nine news psychologist Max Wachtel. Words are failing me right out of describe how horrible these parents are. The first allegations were reported to the Wyoming Department of Human Services in 2004. In 2007, the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office investigated new allegations, but deactivated the case because the victims were young and unwilling to detail the alleged abuse. Whatever happened, you know, they were they were told that that they weren't important. Despite these two investigations and reports to other agencies, the case almost went unprosecuted until an Arapahoe County evidence tech was alerted the statute of limitations was about to run out. So she read the case and knew something had to be done. It's just going to bring up all of those old traumas. After months of new interviews, deputies arrested Long. He now faces 40 felony counts of sexual abuse allegations involving children. Martha Lonnie Long and Rona Culler both face multiple counts of sexual assault on a child, aggravated incest, and sexual exploitation. Court documents say some victims told investigators they were molested multiple times a week by Allen as Martha and Rona took part in the abuse. When you think about the charge of incest, that is, that's awful. That's a, that's a horrible charge. It's a horrible thing to do no matter what. Very damaging to the, to the child. Now this afternoon, investigators put out a press release after we started asking questions about this case. We've reached out to the suspect's attorneys as well as all of the departments and agencies who've investigated this over the last 20 years to learn why nothing was ever done. Wachtel encourages the victims to talk to police, family, friends or therapists, a professional, whoever you are comfortable with in order to move past and move forward with the trauma that you are now reliving. If you know anyone or maybe you have possibly been victimized, the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office wants you to reach out to them since they are trying to get in contact with more victims. We have that information on our website at 9news.com. Darius, these cases are going to be investigated further, but the investigators may need investigating as well. Who, who has oversight over what didn't happen here? I think when a lot of that oversight comes down to it, it may have to go to the state level at that point because there are so many different police departments and there are also so many different social service agencies that were involved at the time. But also I think the other part of it is a lot of these children, they were as young as four. So many of them were unwilling to report the abuse and speak up at that time. Yeah, I wouldn't even know how to, you know, even communicate what happened but, to them. But you worry about failing the helpless, mm -hmm. uh, the people who need your help the most uh, were, were not supported apparently in this case. Darius, of course, will continue to follow it. Thanks for the update.